Hey guys, so we are uh, heading into the 2018 uh, Food and Wine Festival. This is our first time going, so I am super excited. Um, we are actually going in the entrance of the boardwalk because we're running super behind. We parked at the beach club. They were nice enough to let us. We only have a couple of hours, so um, we're gonna kind of wrap this up uh, pretty quick and show you what we can. All right. Kid Kids are at school, right? Yeah, we gotta get the kids from school. So right. we gotta hurry. We're not smart enough to homeschool our children. No, my kids said they don't wanna be dumb. As you approach the entrance of the Epcot, you can see some construction work for the, uh, with the gondola. Kelly's getting the scoop on what's going on with all the construction. There's a little bit that's going on behind France. So we are entering over here by number 18, which is France. And my wife got the scoop on the, uh, what's going on behind the France. French area. <laughs> so that's going to be the new Ratatouille attraction, which they've already announced that. Um, up at the front of the park is going to be the new Guardian of the Galaxy um, attraction. And then that uh, Riviera Resort, that one is going to be the old entrance of Caribbean Beach. And that's going to be DVC only, about a 14 to 15 story high resort. Um, and then uh, the one at Coronado, they're working on that one as well. Um, more for convention guests. So just trying to get the scoop on all these uh, construction updates because there's always something going on. Always. So, and of course, you know, we got Star Wars going on over at Hollywood Studios. Um, we don't know the name of that hotel yet, but that's going to be um, just amazing. So, all right. So there you go. There's an update. Okay, so I'm over here in France now and I will just show you what's on the menu. All righty, here we go. You got your uh, escargot croissant. Creme brulee, I'm such a sucker for that. I've seen everybody walking around with these uh, passion martini slushies. But I don't think I want to pay $10.75 for a little slushy. I don't know, I'm kind of a tight wad, so we'll see. Okay, so now over here in Brazil, I'm um, gonna check out this menu. Opeca? My pronunciation's terrible. Pork belly. Joss would like that. Still not feeling it. I don't know. So I'm going to keep moving and uh, see what we can find. Okay, so we're over here in Belgium now. That's the next stop over. And we've got beer braised beef. That sounds good. Uh, the Belgium waffle I heard is great. I just saw it too. It's a pretty decent size. All right, so now we're over here in Morocco, which is always kind of my favorite. I love Restaurant Marrakesh, despite what I've heard from other people about it. Let's see. Jason wants to try the Kepta Pocket. Morocco is a good. country in Africa. Thanks, honey. Nope. Heading to Japan now. We're going to check this out. I think we might end up hitting um, the different spots on our way back to the car so we can just check out everything and decide what we really want. So here's Japan. Teriyaki chicken. That looks good. Chicken bun. <laughs> I wouldn't want it if it's a bunch of bun though. Bless you. Spicy roll. That looks good. No frushi. So I had somebody asking about the uh, Eat to the Beat concerts and according to the sign, you are guaranteed seating. So that's a good thing. Okay, so a way to get the guaranteed seating is if you have an annual pass or if you um, got a dining package. So that's how you're going to guarantee your seat. But it holds about 17 to 1800 people. So there is quite a bit of seating in there, um, giving you a good chance. And if not, you can always just stand right here outside of the ropes and see the stage from here. That's what we did when we watched the spinners last year. So, kind of a little scoop. I have made it over to Italy, so we're gonna check out that menu next. All right, here we go. I've heard that frito misto is uh, like one of the best things. It's fried shrimp and uh, sweet potatoes, or sweet potato fries, so I've heard it's really good. I guess it also comes with fried zucchini too, so um, I don't know. Another thing to consider, it all sounds so good. Gonna have to do lots of running to burn this stuff off. Here's the gardeners. 
over here. This is how Disney saves money on employees. All right, next over is Spain, so let's see what they got. Ooh, charcuterie in a cone. I have heard that that is kind of spicy. Okay. Over here in Germany, let's see what kind of stuff I can't pronounce now. Ooh, apple strudel, yum. Okay, over here in Africa, we've got some tenderloin tips that look really good. Ew, I don't know about that lentil stew. It's kinda hot out, it's starting to sweat. I don't want stew on a hot day. Okay, now we have hit India. Let's see what they got over here. Well, it's kinda like the bread service, it looks like. That Jason wouldn't let me get at Sanaa. Hmm. Mm. Nothing really tripping my trigger there. Oh boy, China. That's another weakness of mine. Let's see. A pancake with beef in it. No, I think the shrimp would be good. There's the bubble tea. My vote would be for the shrimp here. My vote would be for the $4 draft beer. In case you've been wondering, the uh, bakery is now back open at uh, in Norway. So. Every time I hear that kind of music, I just start craving something with a jalapeno on it. <laughs> I want a nacho. Just past Mission Space um, is the Festival Center. This is where we have to go pick up our magnets. Yeah. Pick up our magnets. Yeah, watch out. What if it sticks to one of our heads? Ooh, oh. air conditioning. Hot. Okay, so what do they got going on in here? Okay. Ooh, this is where we get our magnets. So we're going to go get those. Yay! Oh. You know, I love my magnets. Wine Looks tasting. like they got, yeah, some wine tasting. But I think you would be in the red. The red section. The red yeah. line. You don't Red. want to show up with purple teeth when you pick your kids up from school. Huh. But I got it! Yay! We got our magnets. I was able to pick them up for the kids, even though they're not here. But I just had them scan their annual pass. So, I'm officially checked in for the first visit. I don't have to check in for two and three. Um, just scanning your magic band when you enter Epcot. And then on the fourth visit, I'll come back in here, check in again, and that's when I get my cutting board. So I'm really excited about that. Oh boy. We'll be back. I think I found something just up Jason's alley. Mmm. Taste your way around the world. Bruise around the world. So you put your bottle caps in there, and then you can see the word bruise. Oh boy, that'd be fun. I see a few that look familiar. So there is something up my alley. That would be a wine glass. Food so this and is wine. one I do not have. Yeah, it's seasonal. Fourteen ninety nine. Will you buy that for me? Yeah, I was serious. Hey, here you go. Where are you going? Here are the food and wine ears. I think these are super cute. I like the colors a lot. Twenty four ninety nine. This is a really cute shirt right here. It's kind of hard to see. But I should see if Jason will buy me that too. $32.99. This is what I need. My pepper grinder at home is terrible. She's browsing and she's got a glass of wine with her. What? All I said was to get a t shirt, not a t shirt and a glass of wine. Okay, so scratch that. They did not have her size, so the lady told us to go to Mouse Gear, and they have the same shirts, and they also have wine glasses over there as well. So we're going to head over to Mouse Gear. Wherever my part looks like we found what we were looking for, the wine glass. I love this. Somebody's happy. Yay, Jason's 
Dad's gonna buy me a shirt. What? Super excited. What's and this place called? Dog. What's this place called? Mouseketeer? Mouse Gears. Mouse Gear. Mouse as in gear. with a G. Okay. Yay, thanks, honey. I'm so scared of what I have to do for this. I'm happy. Okay, so we just got done uh, going shopping basically and just coming right back into the world off to the left is the islands of the Caribbean. Check this out. Empanada, spiced chicken lollipop. Looking good. Okay, over on your way to uh, Mexico is going to be Greece. But before we look at that, here is the uh, Eat to the Beat lineup. I'm gonna go pretty quick here. You can pause it. Okay, here's the menu. Greek nachos. Dang, that sounds good. Okay, so now over here in Thailand, check out this menu. Marinated chicken. More curry. And now we've made it back over to Mexico. Hmm. Ooh, a shrimp quesadilla. I almost missed all the, uh, the stuff in, in the American pavilion. It's kind of tucked away, not out on the, the main little walkway. So we're gonna check out that menu. All right, we got a lobster roll. That sounds really good. The slider, that sounds super good. Beef brisket. I know during the flower and garden, this is like my favorite stop. Okay, so we are back at the Moroccan pavilion. Jason has decided on the kefta pocket. Ground beef in a pita pocket. Okay, here's our kefta pocket. Let's see you take the first bite. All right. A little spicy. Is it? Yeah. Okay, I think it's good. I don't think it's too spicy. Um, the hamburger or, or the meat, whatever, it is uh, It's kind of dry, so it was hard to swallow, but it is good. And it's a pretty decent size. We What'd got you some pay Dr. For that? Pepper to wash it down. We brought our own. Well, for five bucks. What is it? Yeah, five bucks? It, was it five? Okay, well, that's out. cheap. That's fine. I think it was five or maybe it was six. Okay, just to clarify, that kept it was six dollars, even. So that's not bad. Okay, so I chose the um, beer braised beef with smoked gouda mashed potatoes from Belgium. And here we go. There it is. Is it good? Of course it's good. <laughs> A little tangy. It's good. Okay, I thought that braised beef was really good. Um, it is kind of tangy. It almost has like a sweet little accent to it too, um, but it was good, I thought. But uh, very homey tasty. Kind of like you at grandma's for a pot roast dinner. It's good. Okay, so this is gonna conclude our day. It was really quick, but we have to go get the kids from school now. So um, we had a couple of snacks. We walked around most of it. We did not hit the uh, the Canada, UK, and a couple of other kiosks, but um, that doesn't mean that we can't later. So stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching.